In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the ASC A7 heating and cooling test. And I just took the test a few hours ago, so it's all fresh, and I passed by the way, woohoo! But in this video, I'm gonna be helping you guys pass your test by giving you information or directing you to the proper sources so you guys can get all that data, information, be able to study a little bit better. So the first thing is, I've been using these Delmar books that I bought on Amazon for a long time. Uh, well, not a long time, but for the past five tests. And I've passed them all. So this is how I study using the Delmar study guide. So inside the Delmar study guide, there's six practice tests. And what I do is I take one practice test at a time, usually one every two days or so, depending on my schedule. And then when I grade myself, I'm grading myself, but when I run into something that I don't know, like I'm completely like lost in it, I'll write it in a separate piece of paper so I could research on it. And we'll talk about how I research that here. Once I've completed all six practice tests, some time has elapsed over uh, maybe a couple weeks so what I do is I go back after doing all my studying and researching I'll go back and redo the six test it's a little tedious and sometimes it's hard sometimes I'll cram it in a couple of days uh, I think yesterday I crammed all six tests in one day it was a long day and essentially what that does is that when I take those six tests again I realize I've learned a lot and if there's something that I'm still not catching the the practice test doing it the second time will let me know like you still need to research this all right so what do I do to research whenever I find something, an area, a topic that I don't know about for the test. Well, one of the biggest thing is I use YouTube, like you guys are using it. And I have to give credit where credit's due because this guy is awesome. I feel like I'm at a trade school. The channel is Mick Houston, here's a screenshot of it. And I really like it. Some of his videos are 30 minutes long. Uh, in particular, the, a, the AC system, he, he actually does like an extra supplemental video where he talks about the AC system more in depth and he gives some, like some practice questions. So he really helps out a lot. But sometimes I like to actually watch a hands-on like video of like a uh, process. In particular in ASC, like how to charge a system or evacuation a system or vacuum a system or, 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 or adding oil to the AC AC system and somebody who I really like is Eric the car guy I'm sure you guys heard of him and also Chris fix now I watch those guys whenever I'm looking at the, the kind of get an idea of like okay I've done this procedure before but what I want to make sure that I cross verify it with somebody else doing it make sure that I did it correctly or if I've never done a procedure I need to watch this so I can understand how it works hopefully you understand how to troubleshoot electronics I really recommend uh, you know you understanding how to use a, a digital multimeter understand how to read schematics and really know how a relay works. Whenever you're diagnosing an issue with lack of heat, there's only so many things that could be that. So you really want to understand what could cause a lack of heat and understand how the heater core works, understand how heat works, the control valve and such. Well guys, you take care, stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon.